going over back squat and bench pressing warm up routine number four. So this one's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to have a barbell involved in this, but we will need a band and you will need either a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to perform 10 uh, bird dogs per side, per side, excuse me. So <clears throat> you'll be on hands and knees like this. One, one, so so on and so forth, 10 per side. After that, you're gonna grab your kettlebell, perform 10 Russian kettlebell swings. Then we'll get into our band, perform 10 X band walks. So what you wanna do, do 10 steps in one direction, and then 10 in the other. Make sure that your knees stay out. Core is nice and engaged, hips are back, just like a back squat that you'll be performing. So with that, the 10, 10, 10, you'll perform two rounds of that before moving on to this next part, which will be three rounds, okay? So we'll either grab our dumbbell, or excuse me, kettlebell or dumbbell, and what we'll do is you'll perform seven goblet squats. So after you perform six, seven, you'll do seven push presses with the dumbbell per arm, Get those arms warmed up. Six, seven. Six, seven. Then after that, we're going to perform seven yoga push-ups. So that starts on the ground. You actually snake up for these push-ups. And then you go into a downward dog. That's one, two, so on and so forth. Six and seven. And then after that, we want to do a 10 to 20 second pigeon pose per side. So that'll look like this. 10 or 20 seconds per side, feeling that stretch in the glutes. You should be familiar with the pigeon pose from some of your stretching routines. So the, that second part, you performed three rounds of that. So two rounds of the 10s, then three rounds of those second set of movements that I showed you. And that right there is a back squat and bench press warm up routine number four.